Hi, this is Katakana, and welcome to episode 4 of Time Layers. Now, if you want to start it, if you want to start at episode 1 from the very beginning, if you don't know what's going on, you can just click the link in the description for episode 1 at the start of the playlist. And I have to address something from the last episode. I guess you could kind of say the title was a bit clickbaity because it because you know basically the fast progression in automation was largely achieved in the second half of a 26 minute episode so you'd have to watch 13 minutes of it to actually get to what the title says so maybe i should try splitting this episode into two parts the first one is going to be sub is going to be before unlocking the next layer, like up until unlocking the next layer, and that's going to be episode 4. And then in episode 5, I am going to be unlocking the next layer. So for now, the universe is 17,240 years old, and is each real-time second is equivalent to 121 days of universe time. So I can reset for six more orders of magnitude of space energy, and that's going to really help because that's like, now I have, now I'm getting almost a Google meter seconds of space-time foam. And in time foam, it's almost as much as before. Now, yes, now I have over a Google meter seconds of space-time foam. So now I get 100 days of universe time per second. Now, I think I should wait till I get 7.220E8 time foam to perform this temporal comprehension, because it's like 15. Let's all look into the achievements. I got larger than the observable universe, as seen before. And I think, I don't know, could I get, no, I couldn't. I thought I might be able to get a super giant star, but it's not. So I just have one more upgrade left until I can unlock the next one. The next layer, that is. Okay, so... It says E25 space energy. So I think I'm going to be getting 1.594E94. And then I'll be getting this. And by the way, it doesn't help the temporals, uh, the temporal compressors are soft capped. Although 416%, it's a pretty big amount. I don't know, what should I do here? Should I reset 200 times? Or just slowly... Or maybe I should wait till nucleosynthesis is finished. And then see what I can get from this. But E25 space energy for this upgrade being twice as powerful, that's going to be really helpful, I think. So I just got that. Now if I go back into this, yeah, so I can reset for one and a half E23 now. And if I get 3.6 E98 here, I should be able to get this next compression.
there. So now I can get 3 E23 space energy. Since space energy kind of boosts itself with space time foam, then space foam should be a pretty useful thing. 94. Also, yes, I have e and I have 69 spatial compressions. <laughs> nice. And if I go into... So that's E69 joules of space energy. there. Now it should be... I think it should be enough to get 5 E100. So I guess I'll just um, end the clip here and then start the next one when I can get this upgrade. So I'm back after a while. And now I can reset for 4E24 space energy, and adding on to this, I can finally get this upgrade. And considering the next one is all the way at E50 space energy, I think I'll be able to easily... Yeah, that is a lot. That's a huge boost. That's like... I'm almost at E150 now. E150 space time foam. But anyway... Yeah, that's... <laughs> this is going crazy right now. That, now I'm getting over a year per second. E35. Yeah, this is increasing by multiple orders of magnitude now. Well, I guess you... Well, that means the upgrade must be powerful, I guess. E8. That's... Now it's two years per second. I can reset for E38. E39. Now, then I'll have to do the whole waiting thing again. E41. So yes, pretty quickly getting to this upgrade. But of course, I assume it's going to slow down after a while. Yeah, now it's over a thousand times stronger. And the multiplier to speed here is 84. Now I'm getting almost four years per second. And boom, I just got that. Now that allows me to get all the way to E44. And push myself back past the four year per second mark. Reset for 1E45. Almost at 5 years per second now. Boom, pushed to 5 years per second. 
And we're already getting almost to six. So now I'm already at over E200. <sighs> Space time foam is the largest currency for now. The largest numbers in the currency. I guess you, I guess that means it's the smallest currency. Cause you know, it has to be pretty darn small to get that much. Anyway. I think I'm gonna go by tripling. Over the course of this video, the universe has aged by a thousand years. And so yeah, the speed is wearing off now. It's starting to get it's starting to get a bit of, a bit slower again. So I'm going to end the clip here. Next one when I can get this and hopefully after that unlocking the next layer in the next episode. So it's been about 10 minutes later. I can finally get this for E50 space energy. It says the fourth space foam upgrade is 10 times better. Now, if you look here, that's this, which is each space or time makes compressors two and, a half, two and a quarter times cheaper. Now, I don't know what, once again, I don't know what this means. I I assume it's based, like, mention, the amount of mentions in each of these second row upgrades, and that's what makes compressors two and a half, two and a quarter times cheaper. I'm not sure, but I'm going to get this just to see. Uh, I mean, nevertheless, it should make things cheaper. This used to cost E10, but now it only costs E9. So hopefully, yeah, this is increasing much faster than before. E226. The next one costs an amazing E100 space energy, but I don't think I can get that because I don't think I can get that before I unlock the next layer. I think the next the next order of business is just to unlock the next layer. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna progress until I get the, until I'm able to get this, and in the next episode I will be getting this. So yeah, this was the last clip. Um, I guess I'll just see you in the next episode then. Bye.